Welcome back everyone to my Let's Play of Fantasy Star on the Wii Virtual Console. Last episode, Alice and her party ended up getting a spaceship. But, uh, like Han Solo said to Luke Skywalker in Star Wars A New Hope, what good's a ship if you don't have anyone to fly it? And unfortunately, no one in our party can fly a spaceship. So we're gonna have to get a special robot named Hasby who can fly a spaceship. Unfortunately, Hasby is, uh, in a junkyard in this town called, uh, Bortevo. And, uh, he's buried in a bunch of junk, and the only way we're able to, uh, get him out of that junk is to melt all the junk. So we're gonna need a special, uh, item that we can buy in a town called Abion. Uh, but, of course, Abion is really, really far away. Uh, Bortova is as well, and it's gonna require us, uh, marching basically around the entire continent and going through a big field of lava. So yeah, definitely not the easiest robot to get a hold of, so. But, um, like I said, once we get the Hasby though, we'll be able to fly our spaceship to uh, a bunch of different other towns on, on Motavia, the desert planet, and also we'll be able to get to uh, Dezor Dezorus, uh, which is the ice planet. Uh, there was no transportation there. Uh, the spaceport, it can only go to... Uh, Paseo on Octavio, but there's a whole much, uh, bunch of other stuff to explore. Once we get, like I said, our own spaceship, we're able to uh, explore the planets more fully, so... But, in order to get that uh, spaceship off the ground, we've got to have this really long side quest first, so... It's going to take us through uh, three towns, uh, but uh, as we go through those towns, uh, we'll be able to uh, get a little bit of upgrades for our characters, specifically uh, for Odin. Uh, Odin will be able to buy the second gun uh, in the second town, Lore, and uh, it's called the Heat Gun, and that will uh, deal uh, 10 damage to every enemy. So it'll really help out against like small groups like those swarms. Still run into them on, on occasion, uh, and they're really annoying because they have uh, 8 hit points. Uh, which is not enough for Odin to finish them off with one shot. So I'll finally be able to uh, do that. So once he gets the the heat gun. So here's the uh, terrible lava field that we have to go through. Uh, every step you take in it will take off two hit points off of all your characters. So uh, just want to check our hit points on occasion. Heal up. Uh, unlike Final Fantasy, uh, you can get into random counters uh, in this uh, in the lava. So. Yeah, so that's why it's important to keep your hit points up because you may run into something uh, tough. Uh, these flies ain't too tough. Other enemies you can run in here are those uh, serpent enemies. They're a little bit tougher, uh, but they usually come in just some, a small group solo. They have a flame breath that can deal some decent damage, so gotta, gotta be careful. So We don't want to have any of our characters uh, uh, die because we don't want to visit any more churches. Because uh, we want to be able to uh, have that warp point set uh, for the church in Gothic. So when we've done all this, a uh, uh, little side quest, we can just warp back. Uh, once we get Hasby, we can just warp back to Gothic and plug him right into the spaceship there. So this is Bortevo. It's basically a town of junk. In this pile of junk somewhere, there's a supposedly to be a usable robot. We know how rumors be. So all these uh, houses, uh, well not all of them, most of them contain junk, there might be a person in uh, one or two of them. Uh, if you try to search the junk, you're not going to get anything, guess the junk piles are too big. Uh, but Tova is my turf, don't you mess around here, now get. Uh, but in one of the junk piles, there will be the robot, but we have to dissolve the junk first. Like I said, we're going to have to get that uh, item uh, in Abion. So luckily, they all this junk it looks uh, similar, but the house that has uh, has be in it is the one with the blue door. So the game's nice enough to let you know. It gives you an indicator. Uh, it'd be really mean if they made you uh, buy a new Avion and every time you had to use it on a new junk pile and had to go back and buy more stuff. But the game's not that evil. So here we have a. Uh, a cave that's going to uh, take us from one end uh, uh, of this river, underneath the river, and we'll end up on the other side uh, of the river. Uh, and uh, that's where we're going to find Lore and uh, Abion. So, we'll be making some uh, passes back here eventually later. So, this is where the, all the burgers we bought are going to come in handy, because uh, 
our magic's kind of uh, depleted. So we, we can stop at a hospital and heal character up. Uh, if you're going to heal a character up, it's based on uh, hit points and a magic that you're missing. So it's always better to use all your magic up to heal uh, characters uh, so it's less expensive. Uh, I basically, uh, for the first trip through, I'm going to have uh, Alice use all her magic points, heal everybody up, uh, and uh, no one knew if they need to chip in, they can. And then just have uh, Alice heal at the hospital, get all her MP back. So, we may have to do a little bit of grinding. Uh, we need, uh, I believe, uh, 1450 for the heat gun. And then we're going to need uh, 1600 for the, uh, the, the metal that dissolves uh, the junk. Uh, poly material. Uh, so there's also another weapon for uh, a silver fang for Meow we can get in the, ne in, uh, the next town. But uh, we'll be coming back to these towns later on. So it's uh, not important that we get every piece, of I every piece of equipment that is offered in these towns. There's going to be uh, laser shields uh, offered in uh, in uh, Avion, and that'd be nice for both uh, Odin and Alice. Uh, like I said, in the, the Silver Fang and uh, Lore of the Next Town. Uh, but the main thing is you just want to get that heat gun right away. Uh, that's going to uh, help our party uh, offensively the best. So. Probably have to do some grinding, but uh, if we uh, if I do grinding, I'll do it uh, off screen between episodes. So, cool little kind of a pain. They don't give too many Mercedes, but they they have a lot of hit points. They take a while to take down. So, this cave only has uh one um uh, one floor, so it's kind of it's kind of what uh big though, so a lot of twists and turns in it. Luckily you don't need a flash in here, but even if you didn't have a flash, there's all those vampire enemies outside, uh, and they're really common in here too, uh, that drop a flash automatically when you defeat them. So, like I said, that for us, because we have the magic lamp, uh, those flashes are just basically an extra five uh, mercedes, just to sell them off. So, or extra ten mercedes. That escaper we got, uh, that's a, a five Mercedes. And that just basically lets you escape uh, a battle. Uh, makes you uh, guaranteed to be able to run from a battle. But we don't really want to run from battles, we want to fight as many as we can, because, uh, you know, they need that experience. So, speaking of experience, our max level in this game is 30, is the max level for all the characters, so it's a little, uh, um, Max level. A lot of games, you know, the max levels are, uh, you know, 99. But I guess the first Dragon Warrior, that uh, its uh, max level was 30. Level 50 in Dragon Warrior 2 for the main hero, 45 for uh, Prince of Kanak, and then 40 for Princess of Moonbrook. So, in a lot of future RPGs, it's level 99 is the max. But we maxed out at 30 here, so. More than likely, that that's a, a nod to Dragon Warrior, the first Dragon Warrior, where this game got a lot of inspiration from, so. It's uh, kind of Sega's uh, answer to the Dragon Quest series. It did come out, like I said, after Dragon Quest 2, so you can see, like, elements of Dragon Quest 1 and 2 in here. Uh, so, the party system from Dragon Quest 2, multiple monsters attacking. That guy tells us where the uh, poly material is. It's for sale in uh, Abion. So, I'm gonna have to go pick some of that up. We're almost at the end of this dungeon. That's yes, a good experience. Give, uh, give good Mercedes, so. And now on the outside here, now there's some new enemy encounters um, on the beach. Uh, so we'll encounter them. Uh, I'm not looking for them right now because we've got a big section of beach here coming up that we're going to be forced to walk on. So we should encounter some of them, but uh, we have three new enemies we can encounter on the beach. So, here's the first one, the shellfish. 
Most of these monsters are on the beach are have really high hit points, so difficult to take down. So that'd be helpful if we get, like I said, uh, Noah's better gun coming up. Chest up. And for some reason, I don't know why that shellfish had a bomb. Apparently, uh, you know, it's just random, uh, you know, whether uh, there's a percentage chance whether a tra uh, uh, treasure chest is trapped or not. And it's the uh, percentage is based on the enemy. So I don't know if those uh, shellfish have a high chance of having a trap chest or not, or if you just got unlucky, so. I didn't, I, have, I didn't read anywhere if anyone ever decoded whether the uh, exact percentages. Although I'm sure you, like somebody like ROM hackers, who can go in and look at memories, uh, the game's memories and its code, would be able to find that out. But I guess no one has done that. So it's not like this is a super popular RPG, you know. That I mean, it's, it's old. It's from the late '80s, and eh, you know. RPGs weren't really super duper popular until, over in America at least, until uh, Final Fantasy VII seemed to make them explode in popularity. So. Oh, that's kind of when I stopped liking the Final Fantasies. Uh, I'm not big a 3D gamer. This kind of gives me a headache, I got motion sickness. And uh, with Seven, they transitioned to like a 3D graphics, so. This town is called Lore. We have been in decline thanks to the work of Lassic. There's another person who doesn't like Lassic. Do you know about the Loma trees? No, they go on the empty plano plateau on the planet Dezoris. We'll eventually be able to get there. Well, it's gonna say we do know about it. Never mind. There was a village called Avion on the western edge of this island. And that's where we're going to get the poly material to melt all the metal. Because we don't want to stop at that church. Have you heard of a gem called the Amber Eye? Some say the Casper Dragon has one. That's an item we're going to get need, need later on. And we're going to have to slay a dragon to get it. You're going to try to kill Lassic? I hear that's great. I've heard that a certain crystal will block evil magic. Alright. Kind of like the Spear of Silence in Dragon Warrior 4. So I'm gonna use this uh, hospital heal on uh, Alice. And I'm just gonna basically use all of her MP to heal um, our characters, and then uh, Noah will have to probably jump in and cast his cure spell once, because I won't have enough to heal everybody up. But then this, if I heal pretty much everybody up uh, to the max, we're just using uh, Alice. Uh, then when I uh, go to the hospital, I really only have to have uh, Alice heal up. Meow could, I guess, heal up and get an MP back, but he really doesn't cast match magic. You know, he uses the cure spell on occasion. Odin, of course, never needs magic points because he doesn't cast any spells, and Noah has a bunch of magic points, so we don't really need uh, to be healed to get uh, his MP back, so he has more than enough. You only really run out of healing for uh, MP for Noah if you're basically abusing his attack spells. Here we have the armory. Like I said, we want to eventually want to be able to afford that uh, silver fang, but we're gonna have to come back here later on in the game. So uh, that white mantle is just a standard equipment for uh, Noah, so we don't have to buy that. Like I said, we want to buy the heat gun though. We'll give that to Odin, and that now uh, hits all enemies for 10 damage. So it's double the power of the needle gun. Unfortunately, there's no. Uh, shop here to sell a bunch of that stuff, but there is a shop uh, coming up in Avion, so we'll have to do a little less grinding uh, because we'll be able to sell the needle gun, and we'll be able to sell all those flashes out of that escaper that we got in the uh, Orteva cave, the cave that linked these two uh, sections of the continent together. So there's quite a few new enemies around here. If we run into them, I'll show them off. If not, uh, I'll show them uh, after the fishing the grind. But one of them you can encounter on the beach, uh, like a Nessie. It's like the Loch Ness Monster. It's not in Scotland, it's on, uh, on Palma in Fantasy Star. So, 
But I'm going to do that grinding. I said I need uh, 1600 Mercedes to be able to afford that uh, poly material. Get that off screen, and I'll catch you in the next episode. Take care, have a good one. Thanks for following along. Bye.